Hello friends, so after creating the strongest sweeper that we had to put out, I began searching for my next project which led me to the one and only Bushi. So why Bushi you might ask? Well, Bushi has a sick ass katana, and who wouldn't want a samurai to be the main character, am I right? So for us to create the strongest samurai in power, we need 4 traits. Legend, Master Hit, Ferocious, and Flame Emperor. We are taking Flame Emperor over Lucky this time because Bushi is a fire type, and I believe with him being a fire type, he will be able to do more damage if we use fire type skills. Currently, we do not have Flame Emperor on any of our house, so we will need to capture a Blazemod that has an inbuilt Flame Emperor. But before we do that, let's talk about how we will breed this amazing Bushi. As a refresher, the 4 traits that we need to have on Bushi are Legend, Master Head, Ferocious, and Flame Emperor. We will be getting these traits by breeding 2 Bushis together, with one having Flame Emperor, Ferocious, and Master Head, while the other will have a Legend on him. To breed the Bushi with Flame Emperor, Ferocious and Master Head, we'll be using a Floppy that has Ferocious and a Blazemod that has Flame Emperor and Master Head. To ensure that our Blazemod has these two traits, we will breed a Blazemod with Flame Emperor together with a Master Head Suzaku that we have. I didn't realize how tedious this was until I made the video. <laughs> but yes, the show must go on. For the second Bushi with Legend, we'll be breeding Celery with Sweeper together. The reason being, in our previous video, we already have a sweeper with legend, so salary is basically just a fodder to get legend onto Bushi. Once we get the two Bushis that we need, we can then breed them together in hopes of getting the strongest Bushi. With the plan in mind, we darted straight to Blazemod's lair to catch it. Unfortunately, we were constantly catching male Blazemods when we needed a female version, so that took a while. Thankfully, we managed to get a female Blazemod with Flame Emperor on our 6th try. Now that we have the 4 passives scattered across multiple piles, it is time to get the baby making session on. I quickly threw Suzaku and Blazemod into the breeding farm, waiting for 9 eggs to be ready before incubating all 9 of them. I don't know whether to call this luck or not, but we managed to get the Blazemod we need on our first egg. First try. We got it first try. That means we have an extra 8 eggs that is absolutely useless for us. But that will not stop us. We created a shelf, stored the 8 eggs, threw the blazer mods we just bred and floppy into the breeding farm, waited for 9 eggs to be ready, and you guys might not believe it, but we managed to get the bushy on our first try again. Oh my god, we got it! Yo, what? We we're getting it first try every time this time today. I continued incubating the remaining eggs because we will need a lot of bushy later, but we want to force star our bushy. We actually need 116 bushies to get 4 stars, so we won't say no to any bushies that we get right now. Now that we have the bushie with Flame Emperor, Ferocious and Master Hit, we'll need the second bushie with Legend. So we threw our Legend Sweeper and the Salary into the breeding farm, waited for the batch of eggs to be ready, and started incubating the eggs to get our bushie with Legend. Alright, good luck, we just need a Legend female. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, are we getting very lucky this run? This run? Even though we got our Bushi with Legend, it, it's unfortunate that it, it's a male. It's a male, god damn it. So yeah, we can't use him. So we continue incubating the eggs to get a female Legend Bushi and manage to get it shortly after. Now that we've got all the passive traits that we need, we quickly threw the two Bushis into the breeding farm, waited patiently for the eggs to be ready, and after 2-3 to three hours of hard work, we finally managed to get the legendary Bushi that we need. There we go, there we go, we got him, we got him. Oh shit. With that out of the way, we are moving on to phase 2. Getting our Bushi to 4 star and leveling him up to level 50. We proceeded to head to the southwest of the map to actually capture some Bushi. Unfortunately, we were doing too much damage with our shotgun, which was killing the Bushis from time to time. In the end, after catching a few Bushis, I kinda gave up and just bred the remaining Bushis for us to get to 4 stars. Once we fully condensed the Bushi to 4 stars, we proceeded to maximize his damage output by using the FAGs, putting our Bushis damage to 1.8 thousand. Of course, we have to try him out, so we decided to try him on the tower bosses. And this is how it went. Okay, go Bushi. Oh my god, 70,000 damage. He just one shot. Oh my god. Don't mess with that bushy there. Oh my god, that's so much damage. 
Oh my god, it's 13,000. Whoa, he can fly too. God damn. This bushy be strong, huh? Okay, we try. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's strong enough to do it. And I was right. Our Bushi died shortly after, after he got zapped right in the face. So we had to do what's best for him. We left him in the viewing cage for eternity, so that he will not get hurt ever again. If you guys enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you guys can hit the like button as it will help me a lot with the algorithm. If you like content like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button because I'll be doing a lot more of these kind of videos. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.